بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. In the current COVID-19 circuit breaker, the office of the Mufti in Singapore issued a religious advisory calling all Muslims in Singapore to offer their eight prayers on 24th May between 8 to 9.30 a.m. at home, either individually or with their family members in congregation. This is permissible according to the mazhab of Maliki, Shafi'i and Hanbali. When one miss Salat 8 with the Imam in congregation, he is allowed to offer or make up the Salat on his own or in congregation. So based on that, if someone is from the Mazhab of Hanafi, they may also choose to do taklid to this, either one of these Mazhab and offer the Salat of Eid on that day. For those who wish to hold to the Hanafi Mazhab with the opinion that this prayer, the Eid prayer, can only be offered in mass gathering, outdoor, with the Imam, Fuqaha of Ahnaf have given an option for them to offer Salatul Nafal, two raka'at or four raka'at, or Salat Duha because the time is during Duha or Salat Shukr offer Shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the opportunity that he has given for us to fast during the month of Ramadan and given the Eid as a reward so there are two options for Mazhab Ahnaf either to, to, to do taqlid and use the mazhab shafi'i for example to offer the salat according to them in their way or to choose to do two raka'at or four raka'at nafal prayer during that specific time and inshallah at 9.30 a.m. Sahibul Samaha, the Mufti of Singapore Dr. Nazruddin Nasir will address the Muslims in Singapore and inshallah he will deliver a khutbah in English. So let us be together during this time as one people seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with one heart to bring us quickly out of these challenges and bring back our days where we can visit our parents, friends and go back to our normal life in khair inshallah so my dear brothers and sisters <clears throat> for those who wish to do the prayers at home either individually or in congregation you may do you may do according to the mazhab of shafi'i rahmatullahi alayhi it is two rakat and in the first rakat after the tabir tahrima allahu akbar and you will recite your iftitah. After the iftitah, you will do additional seven takbir in the first rakat before beginning the Surah Al-Fatiha recitation by saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, raising your hands every time. And in between every takbir, one may say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Wa la ilaha illallah, Wallahu Akbar. In the second rakat, coming up from the sujood position, excluding the takbir intiqali, one has to say additional five takbirat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And in between every takbir, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Wa la ilaha illallah, Hu Allahu Akbar. So in summary, in the first rakat, 
before beginning with the Surah Al-Fatiha recitation, one has to say seven additional takbirat. In the second raka'an, five additional takbirat. The rest of the salat to be done as per normal, like the normal sunnah, ba'diyah and sunnah salat. As for the Hanafis, they also have to offer two rakat. In the first rakat, after, after Takbir Taharima, reciting the Thana, Subhanakullah Muhammadika, and before Surah Al Fatiha, one may have to say three additional Takbirat. Allahu Akbar, every time saying Allahu Akbar, you have to leave your hands down. So, once, twice, Allahu Akbar. And the third time when you say Allahu Akbar, you bring it to Irsal, bring it down, and then hold back as per normal, and start to recite Surah Al-Fatiha and a Surah. In the second account, after waking up from the sujud position, immediately, in standing position, coming back to standing position, immediately start to recite Surah Al-Fatiha and a Surah. After completing the Surah, just before going to the Ruku, one would have to say three additional Takbirat. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, the fourth time, go for for the ruku so in summary in the first rakaah three additional takbirat before surah al-fatiha in the second rakaah three additional takbirat before the takbir of ruku inshallah this is the tariqah and it is up to the individual's comfort which must have they want to choose during this unique situation and you may take this opportunity as a tarbiyah or guiding the ladies and children at home how to perform Salat Eid and how Eid Salat is done or you may choose to create that Eid atmosphere at home during that the specific time and offer Salat Duha or salat or salat is shukr two rakat or four rakat and this is also recorded in the classic classical hanafi fiqh books and there is also a riwayat from abdullah ibn mas'ud for those who miss salat they may offer a nafal salah of four rakat two or four rakat so, my dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> there is no confusion in this mas'ala. The confusion is when one holds to their own opinion and regards others as wrong. That is the biggest problem. But the, as far as Shariat al Islamia is concerned, it is very flexible where one can harmoniously adapt to different mazhab in different situations to find a solution. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make everything easy for us and may we find peace, tranquility and his rida on the day of Eid and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our a'mal in this Ramadan wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh